What is responsive design time in After Effects? Well, I could spend two hours on a deep dive explaining it, but really, it's so clever it doesn't need it. Responsive Design Time, which is ever so slightly better named than Essential Graphics, allows you to freeze parts of pre-comps so that you can extend the pre-comp without having to use time remapping and keyframes. It's so easy to use. Here's my channel sting that I bring up whenever I'm asking you for a like and subscribe. I just drop it into my videos at key moments. Trouble is, I do tend to waffle so sometimes I have to extend the sting or ident. But I have a cute animation at the start and at the end. With RDT, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. With the pre-comp open, go to Composition, Responsive Design, Time. And choose Create Intro. This blue shading appears, with its own in and out points. Just arrange these in the comp until any initial animation is done. And for my insert, I also have an outro. So I'll go back to the menu and create an outro. Once this is done, when I add this pre-comp to my main comp, that same blue shading appears. I can't change it, but watch what happens when I drag the end of the comp. And now a quick preview, and wow! I've not had to go into layer, time, enable time remapping, and then set keyframes and hold keyframes, that's all just done for me. The third option is create protected region from work area. The work area is defined by these two markers. It's the area After Effects will preview, and it's easy to render just the work area when you're exporting. What this third RDT option does is allow you to establish a middle part of your pre-comp as fixed in time. If I right click on this protected region and unprotect it, you can see it's actually a split comp marker. I can even bring it together or I can delete a protected region in the same way. And I can edit any marker to add a duration and turn it into a protected region. So obviously for my needs, it's a quick tool of convenience. But you can also export these pre-comps as motion graphics via the Essential Graphics panel, which you can then use in Premiere Pro or Premiere Rush.